In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a book cover mockup. So a really neat site that I found is here at CoverVault.com, and they have a variety of different mockups that you can download, and you can place your artwork on it. So if you're an author or if you're designing for an author, you can use any of these templates to put your book cover on to mock it up for your website. So he has two types, freebies and premium files, ones that you pay for. So let's try a freebie one and I will show you how to do it. So I've chosen this one here. It's the stacked six by nine book mockup with the back cover. So let's go in here and download it. Download Photoshop PSD file. And then it's gonna download as a zip file. And then once it's downloaded, double click the zip file and it will open this up here. So let's open up the PSD file here. We're gonna open it up with Photoshop. So I have two things open here. I have the book cover mockup and I have the book that I wanna put into the mockup. So here's a book that my friend had designed and she wants to put this into the mockup to showcase on her website. So the first thing to do is let's just go through this mockup here. And you could see that it has different layers. If you click the eye and unclick the eye, you will see what layer is what. So let's go into the back cover book layer. And you could see here there are smart objects. So the spine is one and the back cover is one. And the same thing goes for these other layers here. So let's start with the front cover. So if I double click on this little icon here, it's going to open up a new file, which is the cover. So all I have to do is go back into the artwork that I want to copy and paste. Make sure that your layer is all merged. And you can do that just by layer flatten. And I'm just going to copy and go into this file here and hit edit paste. And it's a little bit bigger than what it is here. So let's command T to scale. So let's try to scale this as close as we can. So a little trick that I use sometimes is just to extend this color here. I'm just going to grab this color, hit Command T, and just drag it. Now, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. If you're going to be doing this in a real life design scenario, just make sure that you got the correct dimensions of the book. And usually the author will give you the artwork with all the crop lines and the cut lines. So just make sure that you follow that properly. So what we want to do now is save this. And then when we go back into this file, it's updated here. So let's do the same thing for the spine. So I want to find the spine layer, which is right here. I'm going to double click on that little icon. It's going to open up a new document here. Go back into the artwork. And I'm going to loosely just guesstimate where the dimensions are, edit copy, go into the spine layer, edit paste, and let's just see how this looks. Kind of want to center that. I'm just going to select this blue, command T, and just drag it over. And again, file, save. And it's going to update here. So let's work on the back. That's a spine, and this is a cover. So just double click on this. It brings up the back cover. Go into your artwork, edit copy, edit paste. And we're going to scale that again. And file save. Go back into the mock up, and there we go. Same thing for the spine.
and then go back into here and it's updated again. The last thing we want to do is these two books down here. And there we go. That's pretty simple. Now you can use this for your website, on a page, on a post, or if you even want to do a banner promoting your book. Now you can even print this if you want and make a sign. The image for this is about 13 inches wide, 300 resolution, which is print worthy. And also it's transparent. You can just save it as a PNG if you want and put a different type of background on it. So let's say we wanna put it on some grass. A really cool site is at unsplash.com. Now these are royalty free stock photography. So let's just type in grass. So let's choose this one here. I'm gonna hit download. So here is the grass picture that I just downloaded. It's really big, so I'm just going to scale this down just to show you. Let's make this 2,000 pixels. And we can go back into our mock-up, and I'm just going to merge the ones that we can see. So to merge is you select the layers that you want to merge, and you can hit Command-E on a Mac or Control-E on a PC. So this makes it into one layer. So let's select all, copy, and paste it into this grass here. And we can scale that Command-T or Control-T. It could be something like this. And I can add a little drop shadow here at the bottom. So my little trick is just to duplicate the layer. So I have two layers of the same thing, and I'm going to make this one black. So Command-L. Let's bring this all the way down, hit OK, Command L again, and make this about that gray here. Then filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's just make that really blurry. And then we're going to make this layer viewable. Go back to your shadow layer, edit, transform, distort, and let's just bring this completely down like that, I'm trying to make a perspective here. And then we could play with the opacity as well. There, that's something you can do. You can put this on any background you want. Now what you can also do is make the books kind of blend in with the background color so it doesn't look um, Photoshop-y. So let's click on the layer here. You can try the photo filter and we could put a warming filter on this. Again, you can play around with it. So go ahead and give this a try and hopefully it all works out for you. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial.